Hi everyone, welcome to this animation tutorial where I'm going to show you what all the buttons in the toolbar do and how to use them. So by the end of this video, even if it's your first time in Flip a Clip, you'll be able to draw, erase, move, fill, and create text. So the first button we're going to look at in the toolbar is the paintbrush. This is the button that lets you draw and flip a clip, and the default is a black pen. To change this, tap on the brush stroke icon to bring up the selection of all the different brushes you can use. Once you've selected your brush, tap this arrow to bring up more options. This circle icon lets you adjust your brush size, drag it up to make it thicker and down to make it thinner. The square icon is the color picker. Tap here to change the color of your brush. You can also drag it up and down to increase and decrease the opacity of your line. To get back to the main toolbar, tap on whatever icon is selected in red. Next is the eraser. This button lets you erase your drawings. Tap the icon again to bring up the eraser options. You can change the size, the feather, and the opacity of the eraser. This next button is the lasso tool. This lets you select and adjust your drawing. If you double tap the icon, you select everything on your canvas. Then you can move it, change the size, rotate it, whatever you want. Or you can trace around a specific section of your drawing to alter just that part. And also, once you've selected something, you can flip it horizontally or vertically with these buttons here. The Paint Bucket button lets you fill in your illustrations with color. This is the color picker here, and it takes you into the color wheel where you can choose your color. This number is the threshold. The higher the threshold number, the more aggressively your color will overtake your drawing. And the last button is text. Tap here, and then tap on your canvas you're going to get a prompt window where you can enter your copy. You can tap the T button again to bring up more options that lets you change the font, the size, and the color of your text. If you want to copy any part of your animation, select it with the lasso tool and then tap this dotted line square button. This copies your selection and then you can tap this double square button to paste it. You can paste it as many times as you'd like, and if you don't like how it looks, you can tap this arrow to undo your previous actions. And that's it, the toolbar buttons.